Hi, it's Judd here with the Friends of the Mount Vernon Trail. One of the things that we do on the trail is remove invasive honeysuckle, uh, which is really bad for uh, a lot of the mature trees here. So today we're going to show you how we remove invasive honeysuckle so that you can help out. Uh, now the first thing that uh, you want to do is make sure that you have the right clothes on. So uh, anytime we're removing vegetation, you want to make sure that you have a long sleeve shirt on and also gloves um, and then also long pants. Uh, occasionally we run across uh, poison ivy or poison oak, which are both native to the parkway. Uh, so we want to make sure that our skin's protected. So we use two tools uh, primarily when we're removing honeysuckle. The first is limb loppers like these, uh, which just cut like that. And then the other tool that we use for uh, bigger branches is a folding saw. And so to open the folding saw, there's just a button that you push and hold down, and then you pull the blade out, and then it'll lock like this. And then you grab the limb that you're gonna cut and just saw it. Uh, now we're gonna help you with how to identify bush honeysuckle. So if you look at the bark of it, it's uh, brown and gray, uh, sort of a light brown color. And then you'll also see that there's vertical lines. As it gets bigger, they get uh, much deeper. The next way to identify bush honeysuckle is by the leaves. So you'll see that the leaves are green. Uh, they're about one to three inches long, typically. They're darker on the top and a little bit lighter on the bottom. The leaves are also uh, opposite of each other. So they'll always be two leaves on other side of the stem. And in the spring, like it is now, you'll see that there's little flower buds uh, forming. Uh, in a few weeks, these will turn into usually white or yellow flowers that are sort of cone shaped like a bell. Um, they smell very good, even though this plant is very bad. Uh, the other way that you can confirm something is honeysuckle is by the center of the stem. So if I cut off just a little piece of this and show you the inside, you can see that the center of the stem is hollow and that's called the pith. So honey, bush honeysuckle has a hollow pith. Our native honeysuckles don't have a hollow pith. So that's usually a good way to know that it's invasive. Almost every honeysuckle you see around here is invasive. Now we're gonna show you how to remove bush honeysuckle. Uh, this one's a very small one, so we can uh, take care of it with just our limb loppers. So I'm gonna cut some of these stems as close as I can to the ground. And now that I've cut them, I'll just gather them up and place them on our tarp. We put everything on a tarp and then we'll haul it away to uh, an area farther away from the trail and try to get it out of the way in a nice pile. A honeysuckle can grow up to 15 feet tall, so sometimes it'll look like a tree. So we're going to show you how to cut a larger honeysuckle. Uh, this one's an example of a little bit larger one. And the first thing that we want to do is uh, cut some of these smaller limbs that can be cut with a limb lopper. Remember, about the size of your thumb or slightly longer is okay to cut with the loppers. Uh, now these uh, can often tangle in other branches, so it's uh, good to get these off and then we'll cut lower and cut the bigger stuff. So I'm going to cut some of these smaller things. Now I've gotten down to bigger things that uh, require a hand saw to cut. So Now when we remove the honeysuckle, we want to try to cut it into about three or four foot sections like this uh, and try to remove as many limbs as possible so that it'll stack nicely on the tarp. Now you don't have to do all of that yourself. Uh, oftentimes it's very efficient for one person to be the person cutting, having another person haul those away, and then once it's brought to the tarp, have another person uh, cutting off some of those limbs. 